In this video, I'll cover how to write and debug code using ChatGBT. The first thing you want to do is come to the ChatGBT page, which you can find at this link in the search bar here. Then we can simply ask it to write us code that performs a specific task in a language of our choosing. The more detailed your prompt is, the better the code is going to come out. So I'm going to start with something simple. I'm going to ask ChatGPT to write me a Python script that checks if a number is greater than, less than, or equal to 50. And print a statement in each scenario. So this is a pretty simple Python script, but the output from ChatGPT here is very impressive. It starts with a short introduction, then it writes out the code itself in full, and then it even explains its reasoning afterwards, explaining the functions and statements it uses, etc. It provides a copy code button, so I can just take this code and use it wherever I need to. This is a really simple example, but it, it can handle more uh, complex situations as well. The higher level of code that you get to, the more errors it's going to produce, but it's still very impressive and it can get you on the right track. I'm now gonna open a new chat window to see how we can use ChatGPT to debug code. I have this VS code window here with a Python file pulled up. Super simple, but it does contain a bug in it. There should be two equal signs here. So what I'm gonna do is copy this code and act like I don't know what the error with the code is. I'm then going to tell ChatGPT to debug this code. and then just paste the code in, hit enter, and right away it spots that there's a syntax error in the code and tells me I should be using two equal signs in my if statement. It then rewrites the code in entirety for me, which I can then copy it and paste it wherever I need it. Something to keep in mind when you're using chat GBT to write and debug code is that you should open a new chat window for each different um, script or use case that you're using it for. This is because chat GBT remembers your past conversations. So if you're going to be using it for different use cases, you wanna switch to a new chat window so you don't confuse it with your old conversations. And again, I just showed very simple examples in this scenario, but it can handle much more uh, complex code as well. And just to show something like that, let's open a new chat window and I will type in, write me the code for a Discord bot that sends a message every hour. So this is obviously much more in depth than the Python code we were working with earlier, but it goes right on ahead and it starts to write out this code. And once it does that, it even explains how to use the code. Here it's telling us um, what we need to fill in with our own information and how to customize it to make it our own. Now, I don't know for sure whether this code is going to have a bug or not. It seems like it's it's pretty simple, so it should be pretty close. Um, but over time, chat GBT is supposed to get more accurate and have less bugs. Um, and thus, it will write more accurate code in the future.